and the starters for our first race this Thursday. August 28th program, field of eight. Behind the gate, I wish, I wish. And Lonnie Stokes has the rail. Then Mackenzie Kate, Kim Cameron, VS Sassy Titan, and Mark Collett. Rebellion and Kenny Parker. Then I'm the big dog, Sam Hodge, and Wicked Time, Mark Campbell. Lobster Tail and Beer and Jill Berrio. Then outside Maho Bay, Danny Romo. Field of eight here, the first race. Sponsored by MLA Rolly McIntyre. Here they come. Off and pacing and a good start to this one. Going out for the lead from the inside. I wish, I wish the outside flow quick off the gate as well as they round the turn. That's Rebellion on the outside racing second and going to a break. That is Mackenzie Kate and scattering some horses in behind, also off stride, V Sassy Titan on way to the opening quarter. And here's how they play out on the front end early on. I wish, I wish. And racing second is Rebellion. Then racing back in third, Wicked Time. Maho Bay is fourth that opening quarter in an even 30 seconds. And I'm the big dog. Get away racing in fifth. Lobster Tail and Beer sits sixth. Then it's back to Mackenzie, Kate, and the trailing the field, the SSC Titan as they move to the 3 8 and pass that marker. Now I wish, I wish on the lead, and here comes Wicked Time on the outside. Out first up for the outside, now two second. Then Rebellion on the inside, third. Maho Bay on the outside gets into the flow of things from fourth. Then I'm the big dog, fifth, lobster tail and beer. Mackenzie, Kate, VS, Sassy, Titan, halfway home in 101 and 1. Driving to the 5 8s by that marker now, and Mark Campbell has taken over here with Wicked Time. Moves out now by two, make it three, and driving away. Then I wish, I wish, Maho Bay on the outside. Lobster tail and beer on the outside. And is he ever flying? He's from fifth, just like that. And he's second, and Barrio is closing in here. But it's wicked time on the front. Lobster tail and beer second. Three quarters, 131 and 330 and change in that third quarter. And wicked time. Did he get enough jump here? Wicked time. Lobster tail and beer is closing in fast. And Barrio looking for another one. And lobster tail and beer times it just right and wins it, and Barrio now just one win away from 3,000 here in the Roly McIntyre pace in four second wicked time and the time for the mile lobster tail and beer 202 and one 2 2 and one a new lifetime record lobster tail and beer in race one the winner of race number one Number seven, Lobster Tail and Beer. He's a Bay Gelding three by Red River Hanover out of the Brett Hanover Mare El Dente. All my Dr. Hugh Baird of Hampton. Dr. Baird trained Jill Barrio in the driver's seat for the three-year-old Gelding. It's a new lifetime best here in race number one, scoring from the back of the pack to take this victory tonight, 202 and 1. A new record, just a notch better than his previous best of 202 and 2. He beats it by a fifth of a second. And the mile, 202 and 1. And we'd like to thank our sponsor, MLA Roly McIntyre, who's on hand in the victory circle to help drape the winning red and white cooler over the winner of race number one, Lobster Tail and Beer. And a new record. And we must mention Jill Barrio now just one win away from 3,000. Win 2,999. One more to go to get the to the elusive $3,000 3,000 driving club. So lobster tail and beer. And again, a big thank you to our sponsor, Roly McIntyre, MLA here for St. John. And the winner in 202 and 1 Lobster Tail and Beer, brand new record. Congratulations. The shot on the board at 1050. So a bunch tote board here as we race in with the starters of race two. Sponsored by Canadian Armed Forces Wilson Scam and Sam Hodge and then Bert and Bert and Jill Berrio. Quality of money. Lonnie Stokes, Rapid Kane, and Stephen Trites and Rackland Fine Line and Todd Trites.
Field of five here in race number two. Canadian Forces, the sponsors, here they come. They are off and pacing Rapid King going for it. Bert and Bert fires out of there well for Berrio, and he's got the lead. Then Quality of Money backs in the two hole. Rapid Kane on the outside racing third. Rackland Fine Line he is getting away racing in fourth. Wilson's Cam, the early trailer, but Bert and Bert looking good early on here, and he's tough on the lead. He leads by two. Quality of Money closes that gap now in second. Then Rapid Kane not far off the leaders in third. Rackland fine line about four and a half off in fourth and about six lengths off the leader that's Wilson's cam trailing the field that opening quarter in a 29 and one Bert and Bert fired up on the lead here early on and out by two again then quality of money second Rapid Kane third, Racklin fine line is going to try it first up and there he goes from fourth that'll give Wilson's Cam, some cover to work with from the backfield, and Barrio tries to get a breather here with Bert and Bert halfway home, and they were there. Not much of a breather. 59 and 3 half. Bert and Bert down the highway tonight, and he's on top a length and a half. Quality of money. Rackland fine line on the outside. Races on from third and chasing after the leader right now. Bert and Bert. Rackland fine line on the outside second. Then racing third. Quality of money, Wilson's cam fourth and a trailing fifth. Rapid Kane, three quarters. Rackland, fine line, Burt and Burt. Rackland now has cleared the lead by the three quarters. One, 30 and two. Rackland, fine line now moves out by two. Burt and Burt second, Wilson's cam third. Rapid Kane and quality of money, an eighth to go. And the Maritimes leading driver, Todd Trice, looking for another one here. He's got the deep stretch lead. Rackland fine line. Wilson's Cam going to get up for the deuce. And Burt and Burt finishes third against Rapid Kane, who gets fourth. And quality of money rounds out the field. The Rackland fine line wins here in race two. He delivers as the even money choice. And the time for the mile 159 and four. It's Rackland fine line here in the Canadian arm. Forces pace. And we parade for you now the winner of race number two back to the winner's circle. Five entry Rackland Fine Line, an eight year old gelded son of Gothic Dream. Out of the Cam Fella Mare, Cam's Fine Line, home of the ultimate stable of Dieppe. Trained by Sifwa Melanson with Todd Trites in the driver's seat. 54 career wins now for this pacer. And Rackland Fine Line wins in one of 59. And four, and again, a big thank you to our sponsors here, the Canadian Armed Forces. And on hand are Sergeant Jerry Beresford and Private Anthony Foley. On hand for the cooler presentation to the winner, Rackland Fine Line. And again, 54 career wins now for the Pacer. And the starters for our first trotting stake. Two-year-olds behind the gate and approaching the top of the stretch. $7,000 up for grabs here. Two-year-old trotters, Dunmore Laird and Shane Bernard. West River Tigger and Ken McDonald. Comier and Walter Chevery. Whiskey and Seven, Mark Campbell. Maple Leaf, Quincy and Ralph Anier. Grayland Bling has been scratched. Mr. Craig Ridge moves into post six. And the Lear Pino off stride before the start. That is Maple Leaf Quincy on the break. Off and trotting. And from post three, that's Comier going for the lead. Up on the inside is Dunmore Laird around the turn. And they're toe to toe trotting early here on the inside. That's Dunmore Laird on the outside, Comier. Then third, West River Tigger getting away, racing in a third then racing fourth to the inside up the back stretch 
and racing to that opening quarter and trotting on the lead. That is Shane Bernard looking good here early on with Dunmore Laird and moves out now by two and a half. Calm here he is trotting in second. That opening quarter, 32 and a three. Then racing back in a third, West River Tigger. Then Maple Leaf Quincy and off stride at the back of the pack again as they move around the turn. And that's Maple Leaf Quincy, but up top and cutting it here. It's done more Laird. Then racing second, Calm Ear. Then racing third at the cones, West River Tigger. Then on the outside, Whiskey and Seven moves to fourth. Then racing fifth, Mr. Craig Ridge. And then far back to Maple Leaf Quincy, trotting the opening half, 104 and four around the turn. And it's done more Laird and Shane Bernard on the lead here. Calm here is racing second. Then Mark Campbell trots up on the outside, third with Whiskey and a seven and driving strong. Then right there, West River Tigger. Then it's Mr. Craig Ridge and uh, far back to the trailer, Maple Leaf Quincy trotting on three quarter bound and by that marker, and out from second, here comes Kamir on the outside second, trotting the third quarter. One thirty-seven and four, Dunmore Laird. Kamir on the outside, racing second. Then Whiskey and seven on the outside third. West River Tigger and Mr. Craig Ridge with an eighth of a mile, trotting left and off stride. And on the run goes Kamir. That leaves Dunmore Laird on the lead here and trotting up on the outside. Comes Whiskey and Seven, but getting the deuce in between them is West River Tigger will get up for second, and Whiskey and Seven finishes third. Trotting time, 2.10 and a 2, and it's Dunmore Laird. Trotting in 2.10 and 2. And back to the winner's circle now, winner of race number three, number one, Dunmore Laird. He's a bay gelding two by Black River out of the Meg Wheel Mare, Dunmore Angel. All by Corey Sudsbury of Charlottetown and Thane Mann of Kensington. Prince Edward Island trained by Earl Smith with Shane Bernard in the driver's seat. And Dunmore Laird scores his first ever victory. And the mile, a maiden record, 2.10 and 2. And a nice payday for Dunmore Laird, winning the $7,000 division for two-year-old trotters and receiving the beautiful cooler sponsored by Moosehead Breweries, the Alpine Coolers. And they're being given away all week long in our Atlantic Sire Stakes events. So congratulations, Dunmore Laird and his connections on a fine Gate to wire victory. The mile 210 and 2. Dunmore Laird. Here for a ticket on race four. Nice purse, $1,400 for this overnight field. Field of six moving in. Ryan's Fancy has the inside. Lonnie Stokes. Then from post two, Wild Cherry and Joe Barrio. Everybody loves Raymond. From three and Sam Hodgen. Jarwa. Post four and Todd Trites, an OB Viking, Mark Campbell from post five, and LMXKR and Stephen Trites to the outside, post six. Six stutters, here they come. They're off and pacing Jarwa, scooting for the lead and taking it. And then Ryan's Fancy up on the inside, getting away second around the first turn. And Jarwa chasing the gate to the opening eighth there, and he's opened up. Uh, about a six length lead early on. Ryan's Fancy second, Wild Cherry third. Everybody loves Raymond, then it's OB Viking and trailing the field LMXKR. The heavy favorite on the board will try it from the backfield as they race to the opening quarter. And it's Trites, Todd Trites on the lead here with Jarwa by that opening quarter, 29 and a fifth. And Ryan's Fancy is racing second, Wild Cherry third. Here comes. LMXKR on the outside. He's driving up from fourth now. Third with cover OB Viking. Wild Cherry getting boxed in. She's back in fifth now. Then everybody loves Raymond. Trails the field as they approach the half. And your leader up top is Jarwa. And here comes brother Steve Trites calling with LMXKR on the outside. Racing second. They were by the half. 
in 59 and three Jarwa LMXKR on the outside second. Ryan's Fancy racing third. OB Viking fourth. Wild Cherry. Everybody loves Raymond onto the three quarters. And it's Jarwa. We're going to have the Trites brothers battling here. LMXKR on the outside. Coming to three quarters of a length away now. By the three quarters, one, 29 and one. Jarwa LMXKR on the outside looking to wear down the pace setter than racing third Ryan's fancy OB Viking Wild Cherry and everybody loves Raymond LMXKR as the lead now Jarwa second Ryan's fancy on the outside coming on Jarwa inside LMXKR and it's gonna be Todd Trites winning it here as Jarwa comes back on to win it. LMXKR appeared to have gotten by him in the stretch, but Jarwa gets a pat in the back. And the time for the mile, 158 and 4. As we parade back now to the winner's circle, the winner of race four, named in honor of Herman Renault. Winner four is Jarwa. Jarwa, he's an eight-year-old son of lightning speed out of the Stargaze Hanover Mares, Van and Star, home of the Ultimate Stable, and Don Hubbard, Cifois Malance in his second training victory of the day. And the mile in 158-4, Maritime's leading driver, Todd Trites, with his 138th win of the season as Jarwa wins gate to wire here, 158 and 4 in this race in memory of Herman Renault, of course, who was a paddock judge here at Exhibition Park for a number of years, also served as a race secretary and was a trainer driver before that and was active in the state of Maine for racing for many years. So this fourth race in honor of Herman Renault, the Herm Renault Memorial. And it goes to Jarwa, 158 and 4 in gate to wire fashion. Field of seven, two year old trotters. Gate is in motion. Going for a purse of $7,000. Rustico Joey and Ronnie Gass has the inside. Dunmore Chip and Ed Smallwood. Maple Leaf Quicks and Ralph and Ear. Fire Dance Ridge and Walter Chivery. Rustico Silver Star, Joey Pino. Muzzy's Dumpling and John Montgomery. Windermere Power and Jill Berrio. As the two year old baby trotters are behind the gate here and approaching the top of the stretch, second division of two year olds. Here they come. And so far, everybody trotting here and away is Dunmore Chip and off stride. That's Rustico Silver Star has gone to a break and taking over second around the turn. That's Fire Dance Ridge as they race around the turn. Also, Rustico Joey is off stride as they make their way up the backside and loose on the lead. And as they move to the opening quarter and your leader up top and cutting it. And he's on top now by about three. That's Dunmore Chip. Dunmore Chip, then racing second. Windermere Power gets away racing in second. Chevrier sits back in third early on with Fire, si or Fire Dance Ridge as they move past that opening quarter. And they trotted there 32 and a fifth, 32 and one. That trotting opening quarter as they move past the three eights led by Dunmore Chip as they come off the turn. Then Windermere Power sits in the two hole, racing in a second, then racing back in third, gapped out. That's Fireside Ridge. Then racing fourth, Muzzy's Dumpling. Then off stride again, Rustico Joey. And also Maple Leaf Quicks. And then far back to Rustico Silver Star. They trotted the half 
in 105. And still on the lead is Ed Smallwood with Dunmore Chip looking to go all the way here. And Barrio sitting in the two-hole trip here with Windermere Power about two lengths away. Then racing third, closing it up nicely as Fire Dance Ridge. And Chevrolet is getting into it back in a third as these three are trotting all alone. And we may look at a three-wide move. And they were by the three quarters, one, 37 and four. And out from second, here comes Windermere Power out to challenge. And the leader is Dunmore Chip, Windermere Power. And here comes Chevery, three wide on the outside, Fire Dance Ridge. They are in deep stretch, Dunmore Chip holding on, Windermere Power. And on the outside is Fire Dance Ridge, but it's going to be a gate to wire effort for the trotter Dunmore Chip. Winning over Windermere Power, then Fire Dance Ridge. Then Muzzy's Dumpling getting the fourth. And the fifth goes to Rustico Joey. And the time for the two-year-old trotter here. 209 and one, fastest of the two divisions. For two-year-old trotters, Dunmore Chip. Ed Smallwood, a gate to wire trip. And coming back now to the winner circle, the winner of race number five, number two, Dunmore Chip, a two-year-old trotter, a gelding by Black River to the Pine Chip Mare, Sadie's Chipper Girl, owned, trained, and driven by Ed Smallwood of Stratford, Prince Edward Island. And the trotter picks up win three of the campaign and with the win over 15,000, close to 16,000 in earnings so far this season. And he'll receive the cooler. And again, sponsored by Moosehead Breweries and Alpine. Like to wish Lynn McClellan a welcome to Exhibition Park Raceway. And she is in the winner's circle on behalf of the Atlantic Sire Stakes program. Well, congratulations to our fastest of the two trotting divisions for two-year-old trotters. And it's Dunmore Chip 209 and a fifth. And the field is in motion now, race six. Putnam's Jewel, Todd Trites. Then J.K. Shadow, Mark Haig. Spurring it on me and Jill Burial. Stagecoach Gambler, Lonnie Stokes, GM Harbor, Vaughn Doyle. Then West Jam Princess, Walter Chivery. Campco Miranda, Mark Campbell, and Salzbrook Dandy, Sam Hodgen. Field of eight, across the gate, race six, Eldon Kirkpatrick Memorial. Here they come. Off and pacing, springing on me, has gone to a break for the second straight start. He's off stride and on the run, and Putnam's Jewel takes over early on here and has the lead around the turn. Then J.K. Shadow gets away nicely in the two-hole. Then up on the outside, driving up, that's a free-legged Jake or GM Harbor on the outside looking for a spot and some rough quarters there. GM Harbor has rolled off. Stagecoach Gambler now takes over third. Inquiry will go up. Now taking over fourth, Camco Miranda. Then West Gem Princess, Salzbrook Dandy, GM Harbor still on the gallop and a trailing the field, spring it on me. And the inquiry going up, hold all tickets please. That opening quarter, 29 seconds flat. 29 seconds and up front and cutting it. Putnam's Jewel, then racing second, J.K. Shadow. And what a trip he's got here tonight in the two hole. Then back third, here comes Cam Co. Miranda. Salzbrook Dandy now comes to fourth. Stagecoach Gambler fifth, West Gem Princess. Spring it on me, GM Hart. Harbor the half, mile paced in 58 and four. And down the highway, Putnam's Jewel. Here comes Camco Miranda on the outside. J.K. Shadow still in the two hole though. Camco Miranda outside third. Salzbrook Dandy has come to fourth. West Jam Princess fifth. Then racing six, Stagecoach Gambler. Spring it on me. G.M. Harbor by the three quarters. 
in 129 and 3. And it's Putnam Stuhl racing second, J.K. Shadow. And he's going to have a shot at her here. Out and moving now from second with an eighth of a mile to go. Putnam's Jewel, J.K. Shadow on the outside. They're in deep stretch. Putnam's Jewel, J.K. Shadow. And right down to the wire, J.K. Shadow winning it. Putnam's Jewel second. West Jam Princess third. Salzbrook Dandy was fourth. Time for the mile. Two minutes and one-fifth. J.K. Shadow. But again, the inquiry sign is up. Looking at action going to the quarter pole involving stagecoach gambler and GM Harbor. So hold all tickets, please, until the official goes up on the board. And back to the winner's circle, an official winner of race six. Number two, J.K. Shadow. J.K. Shadow, a six-year-old son of straight path. Uh, the Armbro Acton Mayor, J.K. Beauty. Oh, my Gord White and Gary Atchison. Trained by Earl Fram, Mark Hag in the driver's seat. And for J.K. Shadow, three wins on the campaign. And the mile, two minutes and a one-fifth. And that, my friends, a new lifetime record. J.K. Shadow, new mark. Two minutes and a one-fifth. And on hand in the winner's circle, I'd like to welcome Chris Barton home to St. John. He's in the winner's circle with driver Mark Hag and the connections of J.K. Shadow. And they take the Eldon Kirkpatrick Memorial in a time of two minutes, one-fifth, and that's a brand new lifetime record. New lifetime record here for J.K. Shadow. And the trotters are moving in the coveted rail spot with A.J.'s pride and Kenny Parker Jr., then Marion Bridge. We'll trot out of post two for Ronnie Gass and Super S Crosby, Walter Chevary, Miss Mo, and Danny Romo from post four. Then Scarlet Destiny, Daryl McLean, Muzzy's Dr. Bill and John Montgomery, Lola Brigida from post seven and Harold Shepard. And the eight off stride, Banana Split before the start and Don Canning. Banana Split off stride. Off and trotting, and Scarlet Destiny, a good start. Then Miss Moe in between horses. AJ's Pride gets away well, as does Marion Bridge. Around the turn, the three-year-old trotters, and off stride goes AJ's Pride is off stride and on the run. And everybody by safely. Also, Miss Moe has gone to a break here, and she's the favorite as Scarlet Destiny takes over Marion Bridge. Now racing second, then in between them, Super S. Crosby. Then Miss Moe back trotting on the outside. That's Lola Brigida on the outside going up as they pass that opening quarter. Then AJ's Pride is back trotting. Then it's back to Muzzy's Dr. Bill. And a trailing the field, Banana Split trotting that opening quarter in a 32 and a two, the action settles up front, and your leader is Daryl McLean and Scarlet Destiny. In control of his destiny here on the front end, Marion Bridge is second. Super S. Crosby looks at it from third, trying to close that gap. And Miss Moe is fourth. AJ's Pride fifth, and Lola Brigida outside goes. Banana split. And the trailer is Muzzy's Dr. Bill around the paddock. Turn they go after a half in 103 and 4. Up the backside they go, led by Scarlet Destiny. There goes Super S. Crosby on the outside. Now driving second, Marion Bridge third. Miss Moe is closing it up in fourth. Then Lola Brigida is fifth. Outside six, AJ's Pride. They were by the third station, 135. And still leading Scarlet Destiny, Super S. Crosby. 
has gone to a break for Chevrier in the two hole. Now taking over Marion Bridge is second. Then Miss Mo takes over third. Super S Crosby still on the run, but it's all Scarlet Destiny has been on top at every marker. And Scarlet Destiny is going to win it for Daryl McLean. Miss Mo made that early break and nice recovery to get the deuce. Marion Bridge third. The inquiry is up. Looking at the breaking horses to the opening eighth pole. And the time for the mile. 205 and 2 for Scarlet Destiny. And that's a new lifetime record. And back to the winner circle, the winner of our first division for three-year-old trotters. This evening, number five, Scarlet Destiny, a three-year-old daughter of Nike's image. Out of the Horton Hanover mare, Scarlet Knight, home by Gord McLean, trained, bred, and driven by Daryl McLean. Scarlet Destiny scores a new lifetime mark tonight of 205 and 2. And the McLeans. No strangers to trotting success in the Atlantic Sire Stakes program. And Scarlet Destiny. Nine starts this year, a win in four seconds. And with the win, that'll take her close to $10,000 in earnings on the season. So congratulations. Scarlet Destiny now receives the winning cooler, sponsored by Moosehead Breweries and Alpine. And again, Lynn McClellan from the Atlantic Sire Stakes Program in the Winter Circle to take part in the celebration and the cooler presentation to Scarlet Destiny as the Philly trots to a new lifetime best, 205 and 2. Congratulations. Again, claiming pacers and condition pacers. In behind the starter, we have Red Boots. He's got the inside, Walter Chevary. No Ordinary Lady and Todd Trites. Falcons Quick, Mark Hag. UK Bluegrass and Chris Davies. Dillinger's Lady, Jill Berrio. Daya Harlaka and Danny Romo. Shady Martin to the outside and Sam Hodgen. Field of Seven, sponsored by the Fredericton Horsemen. Here they come. They are off and pacing. Good start. Falcons Quick busting for it. UK Bluegrass. He is sent out of there for Davies, and he's going for the lead around the turn. Hugh K. Bluegrass takes it. Then Falcons quick. Now racing second. Daya Harlaka got away well today and is racing in the three hole. Then Shady Martin on the outside. He's driving up from fourth. Dillinger's Lady fifth. Then back to No Ordinary Lady in Red Boots Trails. Looks like Shady Martin may get the park job here. And there by that opening quarter, it's Hugh K. Bluegrass, 29 and 2 opener. Then Falcons Quick in the two hole. Shady Martin on the outside, park third. Then inside, Daya Harlaka, fourth. Dillinger's Ladies working out a nice trip here. And she is in the fifth. Then racing six, no ordinary lady in red boots. Three eights complete now through the stretch to the half. Hugh K. Bluegrass, impressive in his qualifier here this week. He's got the straps back on and he's looking good halfway home. Shady Martin, Falcons quick, Dillinger's lady. Then Daya Harlaka, no ordinary lady in red boots, the half. In 59 and 3, Hugh K. Bluegrass right down the highway again here. Then Falcons Quick is racing second. There goes Dillinger's Lady out on the outside three wide. And there goes Falcons Quick out from second as they're racing on three wide to the three quarters. And it's Hugh K. Bluegrass, Dillinger's Lady in between them. Falcons Quick, Daya Harlaka. He hasn't left the cones yet, and he's right there racing fourth, three quarters in 131. Hugh K. Bluegrass, Falcons, Quick, Dillinger's Lady on the outside. Daya Harlaka now shakes loose from fourth with an eighth of a mile to go. Hugh K. Bluegrass, Dillinger's Lady on the outside coming on. Dillinger's Lady is cleared, and Barrio looking for win 3,000, and he's going to get it here. Barrio 3 thousand career victories and he does it with Dillinger's Lady in this eighth race time for the mile 
201 and 4. 3,000 career wins for Jill Berriel. And parading back for the 3,000th time of his striving career, Jill Berrio parades back five Dillinger's Lady. Dillinger's Lady, she's a six-year-old daughter of D.M. Dillinger out of the Broadway Express Mare. Broadway Selection, owned by Deborah Kirkpatrick, Serge Cormier. Debbie does the training. Jill Berrio in the driver's seat. And as mentioned, tonight celebrates his 3,000th career victory. And Sam Hodgen from the St. John Harness Horsemen's Association on hand with a special presentation to Jill Berrio with his 3,000th career victory. And we'd like to thank our sponsors of this eighth race as well, Fredericton Horsemen. So congratulations, and Jill Berrio now receives from Sam Hodgen a momentum symbolic of his 3,000th career victory, reaching it here tonight with the pacing mare Dillinger's Lady. And the stutters for the ninth race behind the gate rise up as the inside post, Joe Barrio, Dusty Lane Rico from post two, and Von Doyle, and she's away, Mark Campbell. Rustico Trisox and John Pino. Nellie's last matter, Shane Bernard. Salzbrook Balance, Walter Chevery. Jamie's got the power and Ronnie Gass. And then the outside post. West River Spud, Ralph Anier. One horse is off stride before the start. Let's rise up. Off and trotting and going for the lead. That is Dusty Lane Rico. Then right next door, she's away. Gets away, but on the outside. And driving up quickly, that's Rustico Trisox. And Rustico Trisox takes over early here. And off stride goes Nellie's last matter. And also off stride as well up the backside. That's Jamie's got the power as they move on to the opening quarter. Checking action back up front. We have Rustico Trisox on the lead. Then racing in a second as they move past the quarter, Dusty Lane Rico. And they were by that opening quarter, 31 and 1. Rustico Trisox. Then Dusty Lane Rico, she's away. Sits in the three hole right now, looking at it. Then on the outside, here comes Walter Chivery out to move with Salzbrook Balance. And he's on the move. Now comes, trots up to fourth. On the outside, then racing fifth at the pylons as they approach the half. That's West River Spud. Then it's back to the other three. Rise up. Also, Nellie's last matter, and Jamie's got the power. They were halfway home in 103 and a two, and a battle of the heavyweights now up front. And your leader is Rustico Trisox on the outside. Salzbrook balance getting up on the outside now just to head away then racing in third Dusty Lane Rico she's away is racing in a fourth then fifth West River Spud but again they're battling up front and it's Rustico Trisox back on top a length and a half and starting to turn away Salzbrook balance here three quarters was reached 133 and four an eighth of a mile to go Rustico Trisox trotting away here Rustico Trisox then in for second, Saul's Brook Balance. And for third, Dusty Lane Rico is still there, but it's going to be all Rustic O Tri Sox. And a nice wire to wire victory for the three year old Trotter. And the second choice, Saul's Brook Balance, gets in for second. And the time for the mile 204 and 4. 204 and 4 the mile. And it's Rustico Trisox. And back to the winner's circle, winner of race number nine. Race nine winner for Rustico Trisox. Three year old daughter of Nike's Image, out of the Captain Jamie Mare, Rustico Moonshine. Owned, bred, trained, and driven by Joey Pino. A three-year-old filly 
Now nine for 10 this season, having an outstanding year to say the least. Earnings up over $24,000 on the year in just 10 starts this season. And career, the horse now close to $58,000 in career earnings in just two seasons at the races. So a great show put on here by Rustic O Tri Sox. Trotting a great mile here, 204 and 4, the winner of your ninth race. Final dash. Or at the gate. The gate is moving. Starters at the top of the stretch. Number one, Melanie's boy, Danny Romo. My buddy, Mark, Stephen Trites, Cosmetrox, Mary Clancy, Dusty Lane Oscar, Todd Trites, Jake Time Silencer, Mark Campbell, Freestone Lexi, Lonnie Stokes, Fittipaldi, Sam Hodgson, and IXL, Barry O. And they're off to the inside. Melanie's boy shows the way to the inside. Trites goes with my buddy, Mark, on the far outside. Jig. Time, silencer to three wide. Trites ducks to the inside with Dusty Lane Oscar. Around the first turn, Melanie's boy to the inside. To the outside, my buddy Mark. He's going to the second plan. He now has the two hole. Third on the inside, Dusty Lane Oscar. Jig time, silencer now fourth. Fifth to the inside, free stone Lexley. Cometrage six, fit up holy seven IXL. Your trailer to the on the first turn. It's all. The opening quarter was 28 and 4, and it's all. Melanie's boy, my buddy Mark, second. On the inside, Dusty Lane Oscar is third. To the outside, first up, here comes Campbell. Jig time silencer. Stokes takes the cover with Freestone Lexi. Swing by the half, Melanie's boy, the half. 58 and 4, Melanie's boy. On the inside with Rome, on the inside, my buddy Mark, Jig time silence to the outside, not advancing to the inside. Dusty Lane Oscar, Stokes looks to tip, three deep he does. Here comes Freestone Lexley, three wide, now fourth, now third, goes for a second. Melanie's boy, your leader in Romo, but you got company coming. Here comes Lonnie Stokes. Free Stone Lexley. She shows away the inside. All done second. Melody's boy to the outside. Here comes my buddy Mark. Dusty Lane Oscar looks for room. He's out now. The inside. Fittipoli on the inside. Jake Time silencer to the outside. IXL to the inside. They swing for home. It's all Free Stone Lexley. Lonnie Stokes to the outside. Dusty Lane Oscar getting the deuce. She's going to be tight for third to the outside. Fittipoli, but it's going to be my buddy Mark and Fittipoli. We'll need a show photo. Fifth, Cometra, sixth. Melanie's boy, XL, was seventh on the inside. Time of your mile, 201, one fifth. Now parading back, your winner race number 10, Freestone Luxley. She's owned by Vaughn Pease, the 10-year-old mare by Kentucky Spur. Out of Stone Free by Matt Scooter. The mare wins tonight, 201 and 1. She's trained by Johnny D, driven tonight by Mr. Lonnie Stokes. Tommy Ermile, unofficial winner, 201 and 1.